What's up guys? In this video I'm just going to test out these new 55 grain ballistic silver tips I got for the 223. This isn't going to be a damage or penetration or even velocity or accuracy test. I just want to see if my gun will even stabilize these because this gun has a 1 in 12 twist I believe so it won't stabilize anything heavier than 55 grains. And when I picked these up it said 55 grains so I figured they'd be fine. But after I started actually loading them I realized the bullet was a lot heavier than any other typical 50 or 55 grain bullet. So now I'm a little worried that they're not going to stabilize. I have tried shooting 62 grain FMJs before and those just tumbled and keyholed through the air. So all I'm going to do in this video is shoot a few of these into my paper target at 100 yards and see if they keyhole or not. Here's a regular 55 grain full metal jacket and it has a length of 0.733 inches. And here we have a 52 Amax which this gun shoots just fine. Although it is longer than the 55 FMJ at 0.795 inches. And this is a 52 grain ELD match and it's measuring at 0.799 inches. This gun also shoots these just fine. But then our 55 grain ballistic silver tip is measuring at 0.819. So quite a bit longer than the 55 FMJ or either of the 52 grain bullets I had. And here's all four of those bullets side by side. So it's not too much longer than the 52 ELD match. So I do have some sort of hope that it will stabilize. But let's get started with our test and find out. And I've loaded five of these up, so let's shoot them out to 100 yards and see what they do. All right, let's see if these 55 grain ballistic silver tips will stabilize in a slow twist barrel. All right, let's go look at the target. Sweet, it appears they were all stabilized. We don't have a single keyhole. Out of our five shots, we got one, two, three, four, and five right here. I intentionally tried to space them out, so it's not that I was shooting that awful. I tried to space them out on purpose, but awesome, I'm satisfied with that. So the 55 grain ballistic silver tip will stabilize in a slow twist. So I'm pretty happy with that result. I was a little worried they weren't gonna stabilize. But it appears we had complete stabilization even at 100 yards. So this means I will be able to do further testing with the 55 grain ballistic silver tip. So if your gun can't shoot 62 grain bullets, it most likely can shoot the 55 ballistic silver tip. Even though it may be just as long if not longer than 62 grain bullets. So if there's any particular kind of test you guys want to see with this ballistic silver tip, make sure to let me know. But anyways, that's all for this video. And as always, thanks for watching.